Hey, Prana, I'm Arbaz here. Welcome back to another part of Civilization 5 Data Let's Play as the Aztecs. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. And before we do anything else, I actually decided I'm going to hard build the Brandenburg Gate. It will only take 13 turns in our capital. Probably a little bit faster than that because we're about to get extra citizen. It's already set to production, other than the academies that are locked. So, yeah, we might be able to save one turn on this. Actually, I don't think I need to have these locked. Probably not all of them. I had to remove one scientist specialist in order to get that great engineer in 22 turns. I will probably use the great engineer to rush the Eiffel Tower. Just so I don't have to worry about ideology pressure too much. And the Eiffel Tower itself will also give us more happiness. So that's that. Other than that, I'm going to wait for dynamite right now. And then declare war on Attila. With dynamite and artillery, we will take Beijing very easily. And then we can continue the war and take Attila's court. Attila is already several technologies behind us. So I don't really expect to see a lot of resistance from him. Plus one population in Tenochtitlan and Berlin. Let's have a look at Berlin real quick. This should probably go here. That's six turns for the city to grow. Okay, that will speed up the city growth by one turn. I'm okay with that. We also got 29 in Tenochtitlan. No changes here, I don't think so. We will get Brandenburg Gate in 11 turns. So we did save one turn, thanks to city growth. Nice. Alright, I should actually get a shedding post on that jungle tile. So this guy can handle that. Remove this road still. Alright then. We do have quite a lot of money. Actually, I think I can sell coal to Napoleon. No, only one. He won't buy iron. We are about to improve a coal mine. So hopefully Napoleon will buy some of that. We'll see. So yeah, we're just going to wait for dynamite right now. That's eight turns. I will need a lot of gold to actually upgrade all of my cannons. So I don't really want to spend all of my money right now. That would be pretty bad. I guess we can finish that shedding post or something. Okay, next turn. And yes, I will finish these farms. There's actually one more road section here. No, that's just a visual glitch or something. There's no road there. China is denouncing us. Ask me if I care. No, I don't. Looks like Napoleon. Is No, Napoleon is not at war with Russia. He's just moving through their territory to attack Attila. But he does have direct border with Attila over here. Well, whatever. Alright, I can move a little bit more with these guys. I'm not going to wait for rifling. I'm just going to grab dynamite and then attack Beijing. So... I can start moving, I suppose. I need open borders with the Ottomans or something. Just to make this easier. One gold per ten. No? Two gold per ten. There we go. He is guarded, but I don't think he's going to attack us, especially once we get dynamite. That seems rather unlikely. It's always a possibility, which is why I'm keeping some defenses. Down here in Tlatelolco. That's what that cannon and musket man is for, just in case the Ottomans get any silly ideas. Alright. I also have a castle in that city. I could always build an arsenal if I really want to, but I think that's slightly excessive. 21 turns to get a shedding post, alright. That will take a while then. I'll bring this great general too. And that's about it. 10 more turns for that Brandenburg Gate. If I can finish the Brandenburg Gate, I'll probably grab Heroic Epic in Tenochtitlan and the Military Academy. I can build Heroic Epic in like 4 or 5 turns by now. So that's not really a big deal. Trespassing in Belgrade. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Let's just move towards Beijing. I don't want to move too close though. Yeah. Because I don't want to declare war just yet. I don't really care about trespassing here. Okay, so now we just basically wait 6 more turns. I do have one more research agreement, but that's going to take 12 turns. I will grab astronomy once I'm done with dynamite, because I still need that observatory in Teotihuacan. That will actually give us like 30 or 40 beakers easily. So that's definitely worth it. And it doesn't cost any maintenance, which is always nice. 
So how's the city doing now? I should redo some of these a little bit. So this goes here. And the rest looks fine. I could work this holy site in Moscow instead, but that doesn't really make any difference right now. I have to work it in one of my cities. Okay, let's move out of Belgrade's territory. No need to piss them off too much when it's not necessary. But not on this turn. Two great generals should be enough against Attila. The third one can just chill in St. Petersburg. Just in case. No, I don't want to declare war on the Ottomans. We're just passing through this time. <laughs> we will be fighting him a little bit later in this game. <laughs> How's the technology ranking looking? Let's have a look. Okay, the Ottomans are actually one tech ahead of me. Alright then. Interesting. That's fine. I will be going straight for plastics once I'm done with this. So right now I'm getting dynamite, then astronomy, then rifling. And I will either go directly for plastics or maybe grab archaeology first. We'll see. We do have research agreement coming in, in 11 turns. So I'll probably use that to slingshot something. We'll see. We have some time to decide. I can't get any more research agreements, so that won't be happening. I don't think I can get declaration of friendship with anyone, unless someone goes for autocracy. Which they probably won't. Maybe. Attila might go for autocracy, but that's kind of irrelevant when I'm at war with him. I don't think the Ottomans will go for autocracy. That's fairly unlikely, I would say. Not impossible. But no, they will probably go for order or something like that. I don't think they will go for freedom. I expect them to go for order. Alright, five more turns. I don't remember the exact cost of cannon to artillery upgrade, but it was around 200 gold, I think. So I'm going to need 800 gold just to upgrade my cannons. Or 1000 because I also have a cannon down here. Plus one population again. So this looks fine. Yep. We can finish that aluminum mine. Very nice. How's the coal mine? It's actually done. Okay. Will Napoleon buy some coal now? Yes, he will. This is going to be 337 gold then. Very nice. I can actually use that money. That leaves us with 10 coal. I can still sell that. What can we sell? Will he buy iron? That's unlikely. No, he won't. Right, so 10 coal. I don't have declaration of friendship with anyone. So I think I'll keep that coal for now. Move through here. You go here. Alright. Plus some population. Already checked that. Not much else to do then. What do we do with these workers? We can grab a mine down here. But that's about it really. I don't see any more improvements that we would need. What we need is railroad for production bonus, but we'll get railroad, don't worry. I will probably try to build Neuschwanstein in Teotihuacan or something. That would give us quite a lot of extra happiness, but we'll see how it goes. That's one of the reasons why I'm building hydro plant in this city, just to get as much production as possible in there. So we can actually hard build Neuschwanstein without anyone stealing it from us. Okay, I don't want to move too close. Because I don't want Attila to call me out. If he did that, I would declare war because I don't want to be a backstabber just yet. I want to keep good relations, or decent relations, at least with the Ottomans for now. The Ottomans are already guarded. So, yeah. Anything else? Nope, we have 2000, but 3 more turns for dynamite. I might buy a hydro plant in some low production city. We do have a lot of aluminum, so we can get hydro plants everywhere. In any city that has at least a few tiles that will benefit from it. Farm, and we got a golden age. Will that speed up Brandenburg Gate? Yeah, I think we saved one turn on that. I'm not sure, we probably did. Grab a mine, and I guess we can get a lumber mill. No need to chop that tile. So, how's Moscow doing? Plotting gardens, then barracks. Looks good. 
will get that great engineer in 15 turns. If I can get both Neuschwanstein and the Eiffel Tower, I definitely won't have any problems with happiness. I am at 13 right now, but I might get more ideology pressure based on what ideologies other civilizations speak. I don't really expect them to get autocracy. So what about this guy? Now we have 22 aluminum. I could probably sell some of it if I need more money. I could sell some to Napoleon, I guess, for 330 gold. Maybe. Do I want to give him aluminum? He'll probably have some aluminum himself. Does he have any in his territory? Yes, he does have some. That's free. Let's grab the money. So 330 gold. There we go. Awesome. Now we have 2600. I don't want to save for research lab. We're not quite close to plastics just yet, but I will need 1800 gold for a research lab, at least in my capital, once I get plastics. So, one more turn for dynamite. What was this? Plus one in Tlatelolco. No need to change anything here. I guess I could lock the lumber mill. That will speed up the city growth by one turn. Alright, I guess we can do that. And Berlin is 14 pop. So, this goes here. Seven turns. Alright, looks good to me then. What now? Oh, he's attacking a city-state or something. Well, I don't want to lose influence with city-state. Then again... I don't think I care about that city-state, but I also don't care about my relations with Attila when we're about to declare war on him. So, yeah, I'd rather keep my influence. Where's that city-state anyway? I remember that city-state. That was a quest to pledge protection. Oh, we're almost down to zero. Alright. So, there's dynamite. French stall military science. Come on now, dude. Well, that's a little bit annoying. But whatever. He can keep it and choke on it. Farm. Well, I'm probably not going to work this style at any point, but we can get some improvement. It's not like it's going to cost us anything. Oh, this farm still needs to be completed. Alright, let's upgrade our cannons. That's going to be 205 gold per cannon. Might as well upgrade this one too. And that's it. Now we can move towards Beijing and declare war on Attila. I will go for astronomy now, then finish rifling. We can take Beijing without a rifleman. Not really a big problem. So, three more turns for Brandenburg Gate. I'm pretty sure we'll get that. I doubt anyone is going to build it now. But it's always possible. And then we can hard build Hydro Plant in Tenochtitlan. I don't think I will be buying Hydro Plant in here. Building it won't take more than maybe six turns. Two more turns for astronomy. How's Teotihuacan doing? Okay, we don't have city walls in here. I don't think I'll need city walls, but might as well get them. Something quick, because I'll need to get started on observatory in this city. Oh, I actually need one more caravan. Alright, we can grab that then. So, caravan first. Okay, looks good. And let's start moving towards Attila then. Can I get someone else to declare war on him? I could maybe get Attila to declare war, let's say, on Carthage. Okay, he will do it for 2 gold per 10 and open borders. Yeah, sure, I, I can do that. He's about to lose open borders with us. Or, well, technically, he won't be losing open borders with us. He will get them in a different way. Probably not the way he wanted. Yes, the artillery will stay there. Alright, so let's start moving. I'm not declaring war just yet, I'm going to move as close as possible before doing it. If he calls us out, we'll just declare war there. So, like this. Move away. One tile. The cavalry is coming. The cavalry will probably just take the city. So, yes, finish that farm. This will be a rather one-sided war, probably. 
Gems for 7 gold per turn? Yeah, sure. We can grab 7 gold per turn. Oh, okay, he actually managed to capture a city from Napoleon. I'm almost impressed. Seeing how Napoleon is more advanced. But I guess Napoleon doesn't have access to any units that Attila doesn't have. So, we finish market. We need barracks in here. Factory walls. Yep. Barracks for happiness, if nothing else. And I need them for heroic epic. Hydro plant after Brandenburg gate. So what about this caravan? What's the best trade route we can get with a caravan right now? Let's see, this one. St. Petersburg to Istanbul. That seems to be it. So that's going to be it. Finish that trading post. And we can still move a little bit closer. What's Suleiman doing? He's not at war with anyone. Can we get Suleiman to declare war on Attila? Nope. I don't think I can do it other way around. Nope, I can't. Alright, that's fine. I could ask Suleiman to go to war with Attila with us. That might work. That sometimes works. No, he won't do it. Okay, I can hurl it myself. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly Suleiman is doing and where is he going with that army. Well, whatever, we'll find out. So, next turn. What again? Well, I don't care about my relations with Attila, so... I won't be losing my influence with Zorich. I don't have a lot of it, but we're about to declare war on Attila, so why would I care about my relations with him? Oh, I think Suleiman is just moving his units to his other cities or something. There's Brandenburg Gate. And there's astronomy. Now we can get started on that observatory. That's only four turns. And then I guess we can grab military academy. For a little bit of happiness. Yep, sure. So now rifling. And do we go for railroad after rifling? Or directly for plastics? I might go for railroad just to build Neuschwanstein. It's such a nice wonder. It's an awesome wonder. So, yeah, let's go for railroad. We will get that research agreement with Napoleon in three turns. So, we will get rifling in three turns. Okay, we're almost ready to declare this war. He will probably call us out on the next turn. But I'm okay with that. We'll just declare war right there. If he does it. Move in. With that artillery. I could actually be in range of that city right now. Yeah. If I move like this, I can actually start bombarding that city on the next turn. We can move even closer, like this. And like this. There we go. Once I take Beijing, I'll probably sign Peace City and wait 15 turns. Well, I suppose I don't have to wait 15 turns. I could liberate this city-state next and then go for Attila's court. We'll decide once we take Beijing. So, another caravan. I got that caravan in St. Petersburg. So, let's send this to Istanbul. What's the best trade route now? Was this trade route with Tenochtitlan? Yes, it was, for food. I'll keep working that one. So, five turns for the hydro plant. I don't think I need to keep this city focused on production anymore. I still need it to grow. So, let's redo all of these. Remove this. Can I work this slot without replacing the Great Engineer? No, not yet. Okay. Alright, let's redo all of this real quick. So, lock all the food. I might lock that jungle for extra science. That's not a lot of extra science, but... Hey, that's plus for science. Let's see. Well, let's lock all the tiles with free food first. And see if we have any citizens left over. Once that's done. So, like this, like this. Three more citizens. Need to lock this as well. Okay, oh, we lost religion in Tenochtitlan. That's a little bit irritating. Oh well. One more citizen. Where do we want him? I don't have any more tiles with decent food. Well, wine. 
That's two food. And four gold per ten. That's not bad. I guess we'll work this one. I don't think working that jungle will speed up my research. But I suppose I can do it. Alright. We'll do it then. So, we will be declaring war on the next turn. No need to wait anymore. Yep, he called us out. That's fine. We'll just declare war right there. <laughs> he wanted us to declare war. I'm such a peaceful person, to be honest. Blame him for wanting war. I wonder how fast Beijing is going to fall. Probably very quickly. One, maybe two turns. So, let's get started. He only has a crossbowman inside. <laughs> Too bad for him. So, let's position ourselves. This goes here. This needs to go a little bit closer. And we have one more artillery. So, best way to position it would be... Well, not on this turn. Alright. This is fine. I'm just staying out of bombardment range of that city. There's no need to move in and take unnecessary damage. And that crossbowman might move towards us. Okay, we'll just hold our positions like this. He won't be able to do anything. How are our cities doing? St. Petersburg will get a factory in two turns. I am getting another artillery in Tlatelolco. You can't go wrong with more artillery. And with this much aluminium, I can get a lot of rocket artillery once I get rocketry. Dido entered industrial era. I think she's slacking behind just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. She's not doing so well in this game. Mostly because her cities are bad. Alright, let's do this then. This won't take longer than maybe two turns. Yep. Some of my artillery units are actually very close to a promotion. So I would like to get that. I probably won't. Yeah, this one only needs one more promotion to get logistics. And I had one more with barrage free or something like that. Yeah, barrage free. We need what? 27 more experience on that one. And this one is pretty close too. Oh yeah, I skipped volley on this one, right. Okay. So plus one population, nice. No changes here, I don't think so. This city will have really good production once I switch it to full production. But that's good, I need that Neuschwanstein to complete as fast as possible. Just in case someone actually tries to steal it. I don't think they will, but there's always a possibility that they might. I'm not moving in with that musket man, that's definitely not necessary. I'll just take the city with my cavalry. Alright. Germany is spamming a lot of riflemen. Now, don't need that deal anymore. That was just a deal for research agreement. I should probably get one more research agreement with Napoleon once this one triggers. So there's rifling. Berlin got more population again. I like this style. I could probably replace this citadel now. I don't really need it anymore. I could get a farm on that tile instead. If I want to, or I could just keep Berlin on production. Anyway, we got that factory in St. Petersburg. Let's get barracks. And zoo, tempo or whatever. We are down to 8 happiness now. We will get barracks in Moscow. But I need barracks for heroic epic. I think these are the last two cities that need barracks. Yeah, St. Petersburg and Moscow. So I can build heroic epic after hydro plant. I don't think it will take longer than a few turns with the hydro plant. So, can we take Beijing now? Yep, I'm pretty sure we can. And if not on this turn, then on the next one. No, it's going down. And it's ours. That was quick. So, create puppet. I could liberate it, but obviously it's a capital city, so I need it for domination victory. We'll be keeping it. Now, connecting Beijing with my territory will be a little bit awkward. Hmm. I would have to build a road through city-state territory. We are actually at war. No, we're not at war. They are just angry with us. So I would have to either steal this from the Ottomans with a citadel, which will piss them off, or just build a road through 
Belgrade's territory or not bother connecting Beijing at all. I could just get an airport in here later, but we're not quite close to getting airports just yet. As for research, yeah, railroad is next. And then I'll probably grab archaeology. I think so, or go directly for plastics. I haven't decided yet. How's the technology ranking looking like? Okay, we have the lead. I'm two technologies ahead of the Ottomans. I could probably afford to grab archaeology real quick and then we can go for plastics. I do want some culture from landmarks, which is the reason why I want archaeology. Not for tourism, but for culture from landmarks. Plus one pop, I already did that. Okay, so do we stay at war with Attila and just keep pushing west? Oh yeah, I should also upgrade my musket man now. So we'll be doing that. We can actually get more money from him. So that's going to be a few gold per 10 on top of that. There we go. Okay, 2800 gold. I don't remember the exact cost of upgrading musket men, but that shouldn't be more than 200. So this should cost us around 1000 gold. 230, all right, a little bit more than I thought. But that's okay, we can afford that, no problem. Upgrade, upgrade. And we have a pretty good army now. And these are all originally Jaguars. So they heal themselves when they kill something. I think I'll just stay at war with Attila and keep pushing west. We have a huge advantage over Attila now. Because he doesn't have any of these modern units that we got. Plus one population in St. Petersburg. Now we can work that farm. This will be a really good city once it grows a little bit more. What about Moscow? We could use a factory in Moscow. I could get armory for a little bit of extra happiness, but I think our happiness will be fine. I'm about to get barracks in St. Petersburg and we will get military academy here. Oh, we already got that observatory. That was quick. So military academy will be extra happiness. What about this city? Keep building military units, I think. I do have military academy in this city now. So it's best to just keep military production. Get more artillery. You can't go wrong with more artillery. And with this much aluminium, I'll have a lot of rocket artillery later on. We got another caravan. So what's the best shade route now? With a caravan. Oh, that was this one actually. All right then. 16 gold per 10. So do I bother connecting Beijing with the road or not? I don't think I'm going to bother. My army is already here. I have enough defenses in my territory in case the Ottomans actually decide to attack me, which I don't think they will. We need one more rifleman promotion there. That's the new artillery. I guess we'll grab accuracy too. Okay, next turn. Oh, also, research argument with Napoleon. I could definitely use that, but he needs more money. So let's not drain him just yet. Ideology adopted. The Ottomans adopted freedom. All right. That's a little bit surprising. I expected them to adopt order, but ultimately it doesn't really make any difference for us. We will get more ideology pressure. Yeah, we are getting dissidents right now. I need to get that Neuschwanstein and Eiffel Tower. We are down to four happiness, but we will get some more in a few turns. I'm just trying to watch it. Alright, any more improvements near St. Petersburg? I think we're done with everything that we needed. Okay then. So, let's keep pushing west. We can liberate Ragusa and then go for Attila's court. This city seems to be taking some damage. One last promotion. However, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.